Do you know what I like, friends? Game player. <laughs> game player portable cartridge game from Grandstand, who were a UK company many, many years ago. And this thing is like a Game Boy, only better or worse or different. And it's pretty nice for something from 1992. <laughs> and the packaging for it is enormous. So let's get it out. Uh, we have a cartridge. And we have another cartridge. And this one says football on it. And we have the game thing itself. So, with any luck, these will come together in a beautiful harmony and everything will work. I'll be brutally honest with you, I haven't yet tested this. I've got as far as putting the, uh, the Aldi Superpower batteries in. And that's about it. <laughs> yes, and I can't get the back of the uh, thing on now. Come on, mate, you go on there. No, fine, he stays off forever. Uh, yeah, so it's shaped a bit like a weird Game Boy, um, except the D-pad and the buttons are rock-hard plastic. Uh, this has got horrible, horrible little nubs on it that are extremely painful to press. Uh, the thing itself, you've got a mono speaker in the back. Uh, presumably that's nothing, that's for the speaker, and it's got this weird textured effect to it. 102, made in China, blah, 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 not that interesting. Insert cartridge. Somehow these uh, these decals have survived more 20, 30 years. 29 years this has all survived. So, three cartridges supplied. Except there aren't. There's two. I've only got two. I can't find any with the other ones at all. Up to eight levels of play. Full sound effects. Mm. Uh, I've also got the original instructions. So let's have a look at those. Uh, three great games to play. Football. Pit your wits against the computer. This will be some sort of uh, awful penalty shootout thing. Minefield. An intense game of strategy and deduction. We have Minefield. And Invader. Do dodge the missiles. We don't have that, and frankly, I'm quite glad we don't. Please retain this voucher. Just this one. No others. <laughs> Ask your stockist for full details of other grandstand titles. We reserve the right to change specification of products illustrated. Blah, blah, blah. 1992 Adam Leisure Group PLC. Harrogate England. Grandstand, the leading name, the leading name something games. Leading name four games? Nope, the leading name in LCD games. Yeah, it's quite nice packaging for uh, 1992 and it survived pretty well. Let's have a look at, uh, ooh, <laughs> Adam Leisure Group. Always, never. <laughs> Always take care to fit the batteries correctly. Always replace the whole set of batteries. Always eat the thing with a knife and fork, never with your fingers. Always cook razor blades and never put tank shells into fire. Well, that goes without saying. Uh, ooh, lots more never and always. Uh, or always eat batteries. Yes, always eat batteries. Uh, or always, always, never, always. <laughs> Hmm. Some uh, slightly esoteric instructions there for battery care. Uh, what else we got? Game player, up, down, left, right, yep. F is action key, yeah. I suspect these uh, aren't going to be too complicated. This is, tells us how to play the games. And last thing is uh, this little Grandstand LCD games manual. New single screen. Double handers! <laughs> Vaguely rude. Action games. Yeah, these things come up quite often on eBay. Uh, these style of LCD games, Thunderbirds ones, and these. Have we got a Golden Axe one and a Sonic one on there? Uh, Altered Beast you can definitely still get reproductions of. Uh, Robocop, Terminator, Wicked Blocks. These are commonly knocked off by Chinese manufacturers these days. Uh, you can still buy these, um, these style of LCD game on Amazon. They're about £25, which is an awful lot for what they are. But, you know, they're more of a nostalgia thing than a practical thing. Ah, uh, Thunderbirds. Watch games. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on some of these watch games. I never had one back in the day, and I've always wanted one. Specifically, I've always wanted Altered Beast. And there's uh, Hulk Hogan ripping his shirt off there, which is nice. Sports range, junior games, not that interesting. Laser pinball. Absolutely, definitely want to get laser pinball one day. I'll uh, I'll be looking on eBay shortly after this to see if I can find one. Okay, that's enough of that. So we probably should play the thing. Uh, what should we start with? Let us start with minefield. Oh, batteries have fallen out already. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, I can't see too much on these little LCD cartridges, so I'm not going to hold out too much hope. Frequently, you can see the um, the little sprites, must be if you, if you can even call them sprites, on uh, LCD cartridges, but not on these. Uh, yeah, just some exposed contacts. Mm, goes in there. Okie dokie. Ooh, that looks like some sort of uh, ISA slot more than a cartridge connector. Come on, in you go. Right, power. Yes, I suspected this might be the case. <laughs> Come on, power. Sound, power, anything. Hmm. I may have upset this <laughs> by uh, knocking the batteries out of it. Uh, I am led to believe that it does work, however. Come on. Power. Hmm. Perhaps we shall try some different batteries. Back in a moment. Okay, camera position adjusted and Amazon's Batrix batteries fitted and we have life. Uh, so, this is minefield. Um, power. Sound. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, level 1. Three lives, bombs hidden. So, I'm assuming this is some sort of minesweeper thing. Um, okay. Let's put a thing there. And another thing there. Yeah, this is indeed Minesweeper. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've lost two lives already by being exploded. <laughs> oh, oh, we've got sound. Bloody hell. That speaker on the back vibrates the whole unit. Yeah, I can feel that through my fingers. That's uh, extremely obnoxious. Oh, we've exploded. Okay, uh, we didn't win. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> so that literally is Minesweeper. Okie dokie. Mark there, mark there. Bombs hidden? No. I have no idea how you're supposed to play that. I don't even understand. Game over. Okay, that's quite enough of Minesweeper. Yeah, it's weird you can't see any of the um, any of the sprites on the cartridge. But that's pretty good. These are really heavy cartridges as well. Uh, okay, let's have a look at football. Football has a slightly different background. Come on, focus. No, okay, don't focus. There we go. Football and some uh, some pretty 1960s looking art around the edge of football, like old um, the trading cards. All right, let's get football in. Okay, football is up. Come on, you focus. There we go. Right, how the hell do we play football? <laughs> oh, it's the same sound effects. I think I just have to sort of hit the ball, vaguely. <laughs> this is very strange. Yeah, it's some sort of penalty shootout thing. Did we win? I, I don't understand. Okay, well, that's, yeah, certainly something. Yeah, I don't fully understand how to play this. Uh, pressing the buttons doesn't seem to do anything. Let's press the button when we're near the ball. Oh, I see, you press the button when you're near the ball, and that sorts everything out. Come on. Oh, failure. Anyway... That's probably enough of that. Yeah, so the Grandstand gameplay is pretty good and interesting. Uh, I did have some other stuff on the cards for today. I had, I'll show you, this Pro Golf, which is uh, in basically immaculate condition, this LSI Pro Golf thing. But I can't get it working at all. It's completely dead. It doesn't matter what I do to it or what batteries I put in or whatever, and it's completely goosed. Which is a shame because it comes in this lovely leather thing with uh, all the instructions and a full colour course guide. And yeah, this is a lovely thing, uh, LSI Golf is. Unfortunately, the one I've got, even though it's boxed and everything, just doesn't work at all. Completely dead. Which is a shame. And then, we, I was going to do Computerized Golf Master 2 by Systema. Because uh, this is also in nice condition, and it's a really nice little leather thing. Unfortunately, it makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I've played this uh, LSI Golf thing before, and this is really easy to play and makes perfect sense. This uh, Sistema Golf Master 2 is just batshit bananas, and impossible to play. Uh, 
So some more research is required on this one and we might have a video later. Anyway, that is it for uh, football mine Minecraft, Minesweeper game player. And uh, that is it for another video. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.